Hello, gorgeous! Let me guess, what are you wearing 90% of your time? Something is telling me that it's trousers. Well, if that's true, this video is definitely interesting for you because I'm going to walk you through the most essential trousers fits for fall winter season and all the nuances of styling them. We're going to look into the most common mistakes in pairing different fits of trousers with outwear and shoes and how to fix them. So let's go. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the button and subscribe. Every Monday, there is a new video, which means new styling hacks, tips and tricks, and inspiration to help you curate your wardrobe and elevate your style. And also please follow me on Instagram to stay in touch and get your dose of style every single day. So the first category I'm gonna look into today is jeans, of course. How can we live without them? Even though I'm not such a big fan, of jeans, especially for winter season. But this fall winter season is all about total denim. So jeans are going to be really big this season. You probably knew that from my previous video about fall winter trends. If you missed that one, I would definitely recommend you to go and have a look after watching this video. I'm gonna link it in my info box. So if you're looking for something really smart, timeless, versatile, and classy, I would definitely recommend you to go for classic straight leg, high rise or medium rise jeans in dark wash. And by dark wash, I mean, first of all, dark blue or indigo, and of course, gray and black. To show you the difference in styling basic jeans, I went for absolutely gorgeous black, slightly flat model from the brand called Halara, which I'm going to tell you all about in a minute. In the first outfit, I paired it with chunky New Balance sneakers and cropped leather biker jacket. We've got two fitted items in one look, the jeans are sitting quite tight, plus the biker jacket is quite fitted and cropped. Chunky sneakers don't work with slightly flared long hemline of the jeans, so the silhouette doesn't really look balanced and the overall impression is quite frumpy. In the second outfit, I kept the same base which is white ripped vest and black jeans. I really love this fit of the jeans because they feel and sit like a legging, super soft and comfortable, and they're extremely flattering in terms of silhouette. They have high rise, which provides support for my tummy. The pocket placement is just right for the bump. Slightly flared fit, especially in combination with medium tall heels, elongate the legs, so it's exactly what you need this fall winter season. For this reason, I swapped trainers for the Western boots to elongate my legs, especially in matching color. And on top, I went for tailored leather blazer instead of cropped moto jacket, which again elongates the silhouette and balances up top and bottom. I accessorized the outfit with padded shoulder bag and black sunglasses, and my look is ready. And another pair of outfits to show you the difference. In my first look, I went for a cropped boxy jacket and off-white tweed, and black chunky loafers. In my second outfit, I went for the same style, but slightly longer and more tailored jacket and heeled Western boots. As you see, the difference is absolutely obvious. The first outfit doesn't really look harmonious, neither in terms of style nor in tones proportion. All the money vibe of the jacket doesn't match with the bootcut jeans. The chunky loafers look too heavy for the fit of the jeans and a crop jacket stops right at the most exposing part of the bottom. Opposed to the first look, the second one looks much more modern and stylish because of the balanced silhouette and matching styles. Longer jacket covers the hips yet elongates the silhouette and it has this slightly rock chic vibe while western boots contribute even more to the style. Talking about achieving the most flattering effect for your figure, working with the silhouette and proportions, if you are new to my channel, I have absolutely amazing news for you. I have created a detailed illustrated guide for different figure shapes and heights that will help you to understand how to dress your body your best using the most straightforward, easy styling hacks. It's absolutely for free. The only thing you need to do is to go to the link under this video, answer two simple questions about your height and figure shape, and and you will get the guide immediately directly to your mailbox. 
It's a very handy tool to go shopping or to declutter your existing wardrobe to understand what are the key winning silhouettes for your figure, how to apply the most effective styling techniques and how to put outfits together for different occasions for your height and figure. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Don't forget to go to the link under this video, get the guide and start using it in order to create your impeccable style. Moving towards more elegant tailored silhouettes, the ultimate must have for fall winter season, my favorite wide leg wool trousers, high or medium rise with or without pleats if you don't want to create extra bulk around hips and waist. I absolutely adore this model because they create such a gorgeous elongating silhouette and they're also super versatile because they can be paired with tailored tops and outwear and heels, but also with something more comfortable and relaxed such as denim, trucker or biker bomber jacket and simply trainers. To show you do's and don'ts of styling wide leg trousers, I went for this absolutely gorgeous high-waisted pleated grey wool trousers with cuffs. Two loose voluminous fits in one outfit look quite bulky and sloppy, whereas wide leg trousers paired with fine knit crew neck in another shade of grey create beautiful monochromatic combination which elongates the silhouette. I cinched the waist with a thin belt to accentuate the waistline and added black belly flats and clutch to complete my look. Simple and comfortable, yet elegant and effortlessly chic. And here is another example of styling wide leg trousers with a jacket. And again, it's all about the fit and the hemline. In the first outfit, you see long loose blazer, which in combination with loose fit of the trousers, creates very unflattering bulky effect. And because of the contrast between darker top and lighter bottom, the line hits right under the hip, breaking the silhouette in two equal parts which shortens the legs and looks quite frumpy. On top of that, chunky loafers make the look even heavy and sloppier. In the second outfit, I went for a fitted off-white waistcoat and metallic heels. The proportions immediately change to one-third to two-third, which elongates the silhouette and making it look slimmer and leaner. Metallic pumps elongate the legs, whereas fitted short waistcoat accentuates the smallest part of my body, my waistline. So the overall impression is much more flattering in terms of silhouette and elegant in terms of style. And if I want to turn it into a more casual, relaxed look, I simply swap heels for trainers, change waistcoat for a ripped tank top, layer it with denim jacket and strap cardigan over my shoulders, and to complete the look, I go for my favorite accessory set. Navy blue cap, sunglasses, chunky chain necklaces and black padded back. For cooler weather, you can always opt for a puffer or shilling jacket instead of denim trucker, as long as it's not too long and too oversized. And again, the golden rule of proportions is in combining different fits and hemlines. Loose with fitted, along with short or cropped ones. And now let me introduce you the sponsor of today's video, Athleisure brand named Halara. I have already dedicated an entire video to Athleisure outfit styling Halara collection. If you missed that one, I'm gonna link it in the info box. Please have a look. Honestly, I leave most of my time in Halara tops and leggings because not only they're super comfortable and pleasant to wear, but they're also very feminine and very flattering for your figure. And that's exactly the mission of the brand, to reinvent at leisure, to make it suitable not only for sports, but to embrace a huge variety of natural body shapes in the most flattering fits and designs. High quality, strong performance fabric allows you to be active during the day, whereas flattering fits and designs boost your confidence. As usual, I'm leaving all the information about the fits I'm wearing and the sizing in my info box as well as exclusive promo code for any of your purchases. Please have a look at Halara collection after watching this video. If you're like me and spend most of your time in what I call all around outfits, and by all around, I mean home, gym, grocery shopping, back home, you wear comfy outfits five days per week at least because you work from home, then leggings and jersey pants are definitely your favorites. However, there is absolutely no need to sacrifice style for comfort because you can easily elevate your legging outfit by using layering and accessories. For my leggings series of outfits, I went for high-waisted seamless legging from Halara. 
I absolutely love them because they tick all the boxes for the right legging for cooler season. The fabric is slightly thicker, it's matte and they're seamless so they absolutely don't look like sportswear. They also sit very comfortable and feel very nice and they have this butt lifting effect. I paired them with white rib top as a base of the outfit. And have a look here. In my first outfit, I paired tight fitted bottom with short fitted cardigan and western boots which sit again quite tight around the ankle. As a result, the outfit looks frumpy both silhouette and style wise. And even adding a trench coat on top doesn't improve the situation because we still see the contrasting short hemline of the cardigan. If I only swap western boots for knee-high riding boots, the outfit will already look much better because they balance up the hips with the ankles by covering them. And if I swap cardigan for a long v-neck chunky jumper, the silhouette immediately becomes more harmonious and flattering. I added big structured tote from Demelier, big sunglasses and layered chain necklaces to support the chunky sweater and riding boots and my outfit is ready. Even though I wear legging, because I balance the tight fit with longer loose fitted top, high boots and big tote, the outfit looks very elegant and city appropriate. If you don't feel confident with legging but still want to go for very comfortable and cozy pants, basic black jersey model is a great alternative if styled in the right way, of course. What you see most of the times looks more like a gym outfit rather than a city look. So instead of pairing it with running shoes and shell jacket, elevate your outfit by adding layering and accessories. And here is a step-by-step -step get ready with me. So I started with high-waisted crossover black pants from Halara, which not only sit super comfortable, but also feel incredibly soft because of their signature cloud foot fabric, which also provides support for the hips and the tummy. And I paired them with gorgeous off-white crop top, layered with melange grey waffle hoodie, also from Halara, and to elevate my look I added a tailored leather blazer. I swapped running shoes for City Adidas walking trainers and completed my outfit with a cap, navy round sunglasses and padded shoulder bag. If you are watching my channel for quite some time, you probably noticed which trousers I wear in most of my videos. You probably even bought them already. The good news is, the season for leather trousers is back and they're super big in fall winter 2023. Straight leg, five pocket leather or full leather trousers is your ultimate must-have staple because they fit all the body shapes and height and the amount of outfits you can create with them is absolutely unlimited. And here is my perfect full leather trousers, which are in fact quite difficult to go wrong with. Nevertheless, I did try my best. I paired them with cream fine knit turtleneck from COS and same color ankle boots. It may look totally fine at first sight, but if you look at it from the styling perspective, you clearly see a silhouette broken in three contrasting parts, which visually shortens it. Again, because the trousers are quite fitted, you want to see something less tight and revealing on top. And last not least, color-wise, the top and the bottom are too coordinated, which makes it look too predictable. If you take a look at the second outfit, you see same color combination, yet overall effect is totally different. The vest sits slightly loose, balancing up the bottom, extra layer adds dimension to the outfit, and structured tote completes the look and make the combination more elegant and chic. As we added extra layer and injected black accents, the silhouette doesn't look cut in several parts, because the eye constantly travels up and down to catch all the details. If you gravitate towards more relaxed, casual style, this model is definitely interesting for you. And I'm talking about cargo trousers, which have made a huge comeback this season. And the good news is that opposed to millennial styling, when they were really a big trend, they're no more paired with crop tops and varsity jackets, but with more tailored, elegant garments. This way you can create less age sensitive and more polished and put together looks. For my next pair of outfits, I went for camel cargo trousers, again from Halara, and decided to create very unexpected combination by pairing them with textured cream jacket from my previous look. Well, you may think it's two totally different styles, but I guess I still found a way to make it work. First of all, I swapped longer jacket for a cropped one. 
Please attention here. Opposed to the previous look where we had to deal with tight fitted bottom and therefore longer jacket worked better, here we need to balance more voluminous bottom and therefore shorter jacket does this job. I accessorized the look with similar tone cap to balance the color combination, added small khaki bag to elevate my look, aviator sunglasses to complete the outfit and it's ready. As you see, style is all about proportions, experimenting with lengths, fits and finishing it up with accessories. So don't give up if your outfit didn't work out straight away. Try to play with these three elements and eventually I'm sure you'll find a way to make it work. To show you how to style cargo pants with longer jacket, I went for two a little bit opposite examples. In my first outfit I added a trench coat and you can clearly see that this combination simply doesn't work because voluminous bottoms don't go with longer outwear, especially if it has another volume enhancing details like this trench coat with detachable yoke. However, we can pair trousers with longer jacket if we only add extra length to the silhouette and that's why I went for heels. The second outfit is also aimed to show you how to dress up your cargo pants, so I went for very sober color combination, grey plus black, and paired them with black ripped vest, tailored long blazer and black pumps. Of course it's more edgy combination, however, because it's still very minimalist in terms of color and details, I think it still looks quite elegant and chic. Clutch and sunglasses contribute to the cool street style inspired outfit, whereas unbuttoned tailored blazer in combination with black top and heels elongate the silhouette and elevate the look. Voila, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please let me know in the comments which fit and style is your favorite and I'll see you on Monday. Bye!